All right, everybody, let's quickly go over the markets and see what's going on. So for the ES today, I'll, I'll go over the setups that were available. To so for the ES, it wasn't really, um, you know, I knew there was something going on after this sweep. You see this low? It got swept, swept, and it came up on the biggest volume in 1.5. Now, typically, I like it at least 2.0, not, you know, 1.5 doesn't meet the threshold. But you can very clearly see that this area was swept and buyers came in. This is telling you we're going higher. That right there, or the sweep of the sweep of these lows with the 1.5 telling you we're going higher, forecasting higher prices. Why? Because basically they're buying the low. I don't like it that much because I just, I mean, it just wasn't enough volume for me. All right, and I wanted it um, to be at least over two two times average volume. However, I mean, you know. If I had looked a little bit closer, I would have realized that it went up on a 1.5 average volume and pulled back on less than 0.3. No supply. No supply. Nothing. Which is the lowest in one, two, three, four, five, six down waves. And then look what happened. Anyway, so that's on the ES. Let's take a look at another. On crude, it was a, a nice trade. Basically, I think it was like 100, 100%, a little bit more than 100% extension. So that is a one, two, three R trade. Why? Because here you can very clearly see the market had a change of behavior. It was picked up right here. You see, change of behavior right here. Why is this important? How do you know it's a change of behavior? Blah, blah, blah. First of all, you're never certain, right? But you have the ability to forecast and understand. So if I tell you that this is the biggest up wave in 15 waves, not the biggest, biggest volume in 15 up waves. And then I tell you that this thing has four, over four times average volume. Over four times average up wave volume. This has over four times average up wave volume, biggest, biggest up wave and volume in 15 waves. Obviously, and coming from the lows, someone's buying the lows. And that's why the market went up. So this was a three hour trade from here to there. All right, all right. I didn't get this one, but I'll show you some others. And this is just uh, today. All right. So this is on gold. I'm not too sure about this, but I mean, it's the biggest down wave in 3.6 uh, 3.6 times average down volume with the biggest selling in 12 down waves bigger than any wave within the trend so this qualifies i would have liked it to sweep this area first though see this area they didn't sweep it it tested it typically that means that you know this low high lower low lower high projects a move down here to test these lows or make a lower low starting with this selling down wave okay Hmm. All right, let's go to the next one. Yeah, I forgot to mention on crude, there was also a down, down trade, um, whatever, down, down um, opportunities, selling opportunity. Why? Because this is biggest in uh, 10 waves and three times average down volume, biggest volume in 10 down volume waves, and uh, three times average down volume gave a nice test and now it's in play. So we'll see what happens here. Anyway, there was one other trade. This one was really good. Uh, I mean, it's, I'm actually just waiting for, to see how it uh, plays out. So here we have a sweep right here. You see this sweep? It hits a spring and it sweeps these lows. It didn't sweep this low. So I don't know if this is gonna work or not because you know this is the low that needs to be swept. But this low, I guess it's okay too. It sw swept it. And buyers basically they like these areas of lows because that's where they bought before and they'll keep buying. Gives good reference points. But what I want to show you is that when they when they swept, look at the buying pressure. Bigger than four, bigger than 19 up volume waves. This wave here has more volume than 19 waves. This here has more volume than 19 up waves. Okay. And it is 4.6 times average up wave volume. Again, if I tell you, I'm looking at the market and a buying wave came in and has 
4.6 times, basically 460% average up wave volume. Do you think that that's strong buying? Obviously, yes. It's 4.6 4 times average up wave volume, right? And if I tell you it's bigger than 19 up waves, it's obviously buying, strong buying. So then after that, the market, as you know, the it made a higher high right here. And then it went all the way down to test these lows. And then it rejected on the biggest, uh, rejected with the biggest bar in 100 bars. Big wave is big buying, big bar is big buying. So they're big buying at the support level. So this is a opportunity. You know, we'll see if it works or not. But the probabilities are definitely on the probabilities favor whoever did this. This leg, whoever did this. Relative to the time frame here, this big buying goes down, test this area, big buying, biggest buying uh, bar in 100 bars. So we'll see what happens next, right? You, can, you don't really know what's going to happen next, you just know that. That uh, you you know what happened in the past, and you're using the past to help you predict and forecast based on you know some lo basic logic that heavy buying from an area. Let's take a look at what happens when we visit that area. Yeah, big buying is there in the form of this bar. Yes, it's probably still there. I'll try it. Okay, so that's all I got. Thank you all. Have a good day. Bye.